It's a well-known fact that mainstream car buyers still know very little about electric cars. And while the number of people who say they'll consider an electric car as their next vehicle is on the rise, especially among millennials and Gen Xers, a recent study in the UK suggested that the average car buyer needs to spend about three months researching electric cars before they know as much about them as they do about internal combustion engine vehicles. Range anxiety and confusion overcharging tend to sit at the top of the list of concerns that people have when they talk about making the switch to an electric vehicle. They're not sure how to go about fueling on a long distance trip. They worry that the battery may run flat and many still believe that they will need to replace their car's battery pack every few years at a stupidly expensive cost. Sure, great work has been done by Tesla, EV advocates and education programs at certain dealerships to get more people plugging in. But for the most part, while people may say they want an electric car, they don't want to worry about charging it. So when Toyota started promoting its self-charging hybrid technology this year with a massive ad campaign, we saw more and more people get excited about Toyota's brand new revolutionary technology. I mean, a car that doesn't need plugging in but's good for the planet is great, right? The car that's capable of electric propulsion but doesn't ever need a charging station. Why should you bother with a boring plug-in electric car if Toyota's cracked the code, right? In the past few weeks, we have had a lot of people reach out to ask us how this amazing new technology works. And since we like to listen to our viewers, we decided we'd do just that today. I'm about to tell you just how Toyota's self-charging technology works. So make sure you don't go anywhere because you really need to know its big secret and it will surprise you. But before I do, let's look at Toyota's bog standard hybrid Synergy Drive technology. You know, the one that's been used in its Prius hybrids and more recently other hybrid variants of standard range cars for a really long time. It uses an Atkinson cycle internal combustion engine connected to a planetary gearbox, which in turn is connected to two electric motors. For those who don't know, an Atkinson cycle is a special engine setup that lets the intake valve be held open a little longer than it would be on a standard internal combustion engine. This allows the engine to be a little more efficient in its running at the expense of a little bit of power. Because internal combustion engines are most efficient in a narrow power window, Toyota's HSD does everything it can to keep the car's engine running in that narrow power band. At low speeds, it takes any excess power made by running the engine at its optimum speed and captures it using one or both of the electric motors. They then turn that energy into electricity, which is then stored in a small battery pack as chemical energy for later use. When the car is driving very slowly and the battery pack has enough charge, the car uses just the electric motors to power itself along, switching off the internal combustion engine completely. When the battery is drained, the engine kicks back in and recharges the battery pack. And at periods of really high power demand, like accelerating or climbing a steep hill at speed, the engine and electric motors work in unison to push the car along, provided, of course, there's enough charge in the battery pack. If the car is a plug-in hybrid like the Toyota Prius Prime, there's an onboard charger that can be used to charge the car's battery pack as well. When the battery pack is empty, the HSD reverts to using its gasoline engine and then operates like a regular hybrid. But Nikki, you're saying, that's the standard hybrid we all know. You don't need to explain that. How does Toyota's self-charging hybrid work? I'll tell you. Are you ready? It works with advertising. Yep, advertising. It's a new way that Toyota is using to promote its hybrid technology. Rather than simply call it a hybrid, Toyota is throwing in a bit of old-fashioned advertising spin to make you think of an electric car. Toyota's revolutionary self-charging hybrid isn't. In order to have a car that truly self-charges without any external fuel source, you have to break the laws of thermodynamics. It's the same reason you can't drive an electric car along and recharge its battery pack from a second motor attached to its other axle. It's why you can't put little fans on the front of an electric car that spin as the wind passes over the car, moving along, capturing the energy and then using it to then push the car down the road. Energy can sadly not be created nor destroyed. 
only transferred. And every time you change one form of energy into another, a little tiny bit of it is lost to the system through either friction or some other resistance. The noise you hear when you run an internal combustion engine, that's energy being wasted as it becomes sound. The heat it produces, well, that's another type of energy loss. Of course, in Toyota's case, it's a little more sneaky. Technically, its hybrids do charge themselves, or rather, they use power from the internal combustion engine to charge the car's battery pack. But in order to do that, they're not creating energy. They're turning the chemical energy from the petrol into kinetic energy inside the engine. That kinetic energy is then transferred to electrical energy inside the motor, and then to chemical energy inside the battery pack. In order to do this, however, there are a lot of energy losses in the system, and you still need to provide power to the system in order for this all to happen. Petrol, or if you prefer, gasoline. So if Toyota's hybrid system hasn't changed, why the new name? That's really simple. In a world where electric cars are more popular and people are thinking of charging up their electric car using a charging station, Toyota's simply cashing in on the electric car trend by renaming its hybrid drivetrain as being self-charging. And voila, it's on the electric car bandwagon. Kudos to whoever thought this up. As I said at the start of this, very few people really understand how electric vehicles and hybrids work, but it's also a really stinky predatory move. So the next time someone tells you that they've got a self-charging hybrid, or worse still, a self-charging electric car, just point them to this video. That's it. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you liked it or didn't like it below. Scribble a comment, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on a single episode. And if you'd like to support the network, there are three ways that you can do that in the show notes below. We've also got some great new t-shirts in our shop, including some new Evolved shirts featuring all of the Teslas currently available, as well as our Evolved plug shirts. Buy one, support the show, and help us continue to make awesome content. I'll be back soon with another episode, but until that point, keep evolving.